hello assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to my channel on this channel i show videos on how to make beautiful gowns for your kids so let's keep going in today's video tutorial i'm going to be very very precise that this video is for two year old princess so we are going to make a puff sleeve for her and i'm going to make use of 16 inches measurement we go ahead and cut it out all right the width of the fabric is 8.5 inches but in my own case it's 9.5 i did not like assemble my tape measure but now you can see that it is 8 inches sharp so we are going to continue the fabric that i'm working with it is called brocade and it's quite slippery so Please bear with the situation, okay? So, folding it into two like this. From the other end, that is from the end that is not unfold, I'm going to go in by three inches, but I will add one inch for the joining allowance, making four inches. Okay, so once we achieve that from the top, I'm going down by two inches. Then I will connect a straight line. As seen below and I'm going to divide it by two so the complete measurement is eight inches so eight inches divided by two is going to be four inches all right I'll go out and then I'll curve inwards so our basic pop slip is ready for cutting But here you can see that it's like I make a little curve at the down part. I give it a little shape if you look very closely. So this is what I did. In your own case, you can give that kind of stylish something off. If you don't like, you can just leave it like that. So this place, we are going to create elastic band. We are going to make elastic band um, house. So once we have finished doing that, I'm going to like fold in again. Okay, so I'm not going to like make it be exact. I'm just going to like make sure to make like maybe small inches of the main fabric to like overlap a little bit inwards. And I'm going to start sewing. I'm sewing on 0 0.5 inches here. This will make my elastic band to fit in properly. Top stitch so that my fabric will not be moving here and there. Okay, but if you are good to, if you are not working with a slippery fabric like mine, you can skip this step. But I want to stabilize the main fabric and the lining. I want to hold them in one piece okay just like i promised this um video is going to be beginner friendly i'm not going to forward 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 okay i'm going to take you step by step all right go ahead and remove all the excess fabric and this is what we have and you can see the curve shape that i'm talking about like a v-shape i'm talking about at the edge so you can do that or if you don't like you can leave it as that so it all depends on you or on what you are doing on my hand i'm making use of the needle i'm just like manipulating my needle to be a hook so that i will uh, follow in the elastic band through the loop that we make We are almost done the next thing to do is to tuck the edge down with the 
elastic band inside so that it will not be moving here and there so the next thing to do now is to pull out out until we reach our desired like size okay so like i told you this is for two years old princess and we are going to make a little opening just like maybe six inches or to five inches of elastic band will do this for you but the next thing to do is to also tag this edge out and i'm going to show you a trick if you don't have a saja or a weaving machine so this is what i normally do i fold the two sides together like this making the wrong side touching each other so i'm going to like so so at the top cut out the excess and then fold it inwards so this is the best way of like concealing any debt if you don't have a saja or a weaving machine so if you like this video tutorial consider subscribing and give me a like all right so that you can be notified whenever i post any video tutorial okay so we are almost done all they say we are 90 five percent done so the next thing to do is to make some gathers but before then i'm just showing you how beautiful the sleeve looks like so we are going to like make some gathers at the edge i mostly like doing the gathers here because i got the chance to make the pleats very neatly before i join it with the bodice so the trick I do is, like if you are a fan of my videos, you always discover that I make a notch in any of the cycle or at the center of my patterns. So the reason why I'm doing that is so that I will differentiate between the side, one side and the other one end. So this pleat, I'm going to make the left side and also want some to look to the right. So this will make it a style this will make it very stylish and unique so that's been done we are done go ahead and remove all the excess so this is the beauty of the sleeve like i said earlier on if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and follow me and then ring the bell in order to be notified whenever i post any videos tutorial i post videos every single week with that we have come to the end bye bye